Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths 2020, Paper 2. This is the solution video to question 7. So question 7 is our first question from section B. It's worth 55 marks and it's an area and volume question. Uh, part A, a company makes biodegradable paper cups in the shape of a right circular cone. Each cup has a radius of 3.3 centimetres and a slant height of 9 centimetres as shown show that the vertical height of the cup is 8.37 correct to two decimal places so we just need to find this height here so that's going to be a right angle triangle where we have 3.3 and we have 9 so we want to find this value here x so uh, just use Pythagoras for this we have 9 squared is equal to x squared plus 3.3 squared so x squared is equal to 9 squared minus 3.3 squared. So x is equal to the square root of that. So the square root of 9 squared minus 3.3 squared. And pop that into your calculator and you should get the answer that they're looking for. 8.37 centimetres. Part 2. Find the curved surface area of the cup correct to two decimal places. Okay, so the curved surface area... Of a, of a right circular cone, the curved surface area is equal to pi or L. So that's equal to pi times the radius, which is 3.3. And L is our slant height, which is 9. So pi by 3.3 by 9 is 93.31, and the units are square centimetres. Part 3. The diagram shows the net of the cup. Find in degrees the size of the angle theta. So for this one, this is now a sector. And we've just found a curved surface area at a cup. So we know the area of this sector. So we can use the area of a sector formula. Which is pi or squared times theta over 360 when it's in degrees. We know the area, the area is 93.31, pi is pi, we know or, or is 9, so that's times 9 squared, and it's times theta over 360. So now we just have one unknown in this, and we can solve for theta. So if I divide across by pi times 9 squared, so that's 81 pi, so that'll be 93.31 divided by 81 pi and then I'm also going to multiply by this 360 so multiplied by 360 that'll leave me with theta on the right hand side so work that out pop it all into your calculator you get theta is equal to 132 degrees okay part b in order to avoid spillages each cup is marked with a dotted line at F, uh, which is one centimetre vertically below the top of the cup, as shown. Find the volume of the water in the cup when it is filled as far as the dotted line, and give your answer correct to one decimal place. Okay, so we'll need to find uh, the radius of this uh, new, or uh, the radius at this height, I suppose, uh, this one, or in order to be able to find the volume of the cup the volume is going to be a third pi or squared h so we're going to need to know this um or we know the height the height is going to be 7.37 so we just need to find that or to do that we use similar triangles so i'm going to draw a sketch of the cup um in total so we have 3.3 and we have 8.37 and then we have the smaller version here where it's 7.37 and this is or. So we want to find what is this or. We can use similar triangles or over 3.3 is equal to 7.37 over 8.37. So or is equal to 3.3 times 7.37 over 8.37 so our new radius is 
9057. So then the volume is equal to one third pi r squared h. So v is equal to one third pi r is 2.9057 squared and h uh, or height was 7.37. Pop them into your calculator and you should get a volume of 65.2 and the units will be cubic centimetres. Part C. Water flows into one of these cups through a cylindrical pipe of radius 0.8 centimetres at a flow rate of 2.5 centimetres per second. That means 2.5 centimetres here goes in every second. Find to the nearest second how long it takes to fill the cup to the line F. So we need to find out how much water is in 2.5 centimetres of this pipe. Well, it has a radius of 0 0.8. So the volume of water that's going in every second is pi r squared h. It's just the volume of this cylinder. So that's equal to pi times the radius is 0 0.8 squared and the h is 2.5. So the volume of water that's going in every second is 5.0265 cubic centimeters. And then to find how long it takes to fill up the cup to the line, we just need to divide our 65.2 that we got previous and get that divided by 5.0265. And you end up with an answer of 12.97 seconds. They want it correct to the nearest second. So that's approximately equal to 13 seconds. Okay, on to part D, the final part. The company decides to change the position of the line F in order to limit the capacity of the cup to 60 cubic centimetres. How far vertically below the rim of the cup should the line F be drawn? Give your answer in centimetres correct to one decimal place. Okay, so we want the volume to be 60 centimetres. We know the volume formula again is one third pi r squared h. We know the volume this time is to be 60. So 60 is equal to one third pi r squared h. Now we need to know what is or and what is h in order to, to find this. But both of those are unknown. So we can draw our similar triangles again. We have our 3.3 and we have our 8.37. And now this time we've moved this line down a bit. We have a radius and we have a height, but we don't know what they are. But we can still use our similar triangles and we can write or in terms of h or h in terms of or. We can say or over 3.3 is equal to h over 8.37. Now I'm looking for, or we're looking for the, the height here, um, this height here, um, in order to find how what this distance is. We want to write or in terms of h. So we can replace this or with a h and solve for h. So if we want to write or in terms of h, or is equal to 3.3 h over 8.37. So now what we can do is we can sub this in here and solve for h. So let's bring this down and we have 60 is equal to one third pi. Now instead of or we have 3.3 h over 8.37 that's all squared and it's multiplied by another h so if we work through this equation we should be able to solve for h and then find our unknown x so to solve this let's divide both sides by uh, one third pi so 60 over one third pi is equal to, now I'm going to multiply all this out, so square 3.3 to get 10.89 h squared, and then square the 
to get 70.0569 and this is all multiplied by our h then what i'm going to do h by h will be h cubed on the top there i'm gonna sort out this side here so 60 divided uh, i'm going to multiply by 70 actually get rid of that fraction there so 60 times 70.0569 over one third pi that's equal to 10.89 h cubed and then i can pop that into the calculator just to tidy it up a bit it's going to be 40 point or 4013.96 and then i'm going to divide by this 10.89 divided by 10.89 is equal to h cubed so h cubed is equal to divide that out you get 368.592 and then we can take the cubed root of that to find h. So the cubed root of that h is equal to 7.1699 centimeters. So that is the height here. We're looking for this distance x. So we just need to take that away from the height. So overall, it's going to be 8.37 minus 7.1. 1699 that's equal to 1.2 centimeters correct to one decimal place so the height we come down is 1.2 centimeters okay so thanks for watching if you have any questions just ask in the comments below uh, and i'll see you in the next video